isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood sa RH TV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Una sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng nanood kagabi sa world premiere ng aming pinakabagong choreography para sa Ballet Manila, ang Snow White. Talaga namang nakakataba ng puso ang inyong patuloy na pagsuporta sa Ballet Manila. Para sa mga hindi pa nakakapanood, meron pa kaming second weekend performances alas 6 ng gabi sa Sabado, December 2 at alas 3 ng hapon sa linggo, December 3. Huwag na huwag ninyong palalampasin ang children's ballet na ito na tiyak na kagigiliwan ng buong pamilya. Para sa mga tiket, pumunta lamang sa www.ticketworld.com.ph o tumawag sa 891-9999. Tandaan nyo po, Ballet Manila's Snow White. Samantala, sa hapong ito ay kasama natin ang isang up-and-coming classical guitarist na gumagawa na ng pangalan sa mundo ng musika, lalo na sa mga katulad niyang millennials. Sa ating pagbabalik, kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan, ang naghihintay sa ating kasama ang kabataang gitarista at kompositor na si Aaron Aguila. Siyem na taong gulang lamang si Aaron Rafael Aguila III nang magsimulang mag-aral ng classical guitar sa ilalim ni Ivar Fojas ng UP College of Music Extension Program. Di nagtagal, natanggap niya ang kanyang Bachelor of Music degree mula sa UP College of Music sa Diliman noong 2013 sa ilalim naman ng pangangalaga ni Professor Lester Demetilio. Bukod dito, nauna niyang nakamit ang kanyang Certificate in Music at Diploma in Creative and Performing and Musical Arts sa pareho ding pamantasan. Naging bahagi siya ng UP Guitar Orchestra kung saan siya naging pangulo noong 2012. Nang matapos sa kolehiyo, patuloy siyang nagsanay sa ilalim ng German classical guitarist na si Karsten Link. Kumuha din siya ng mga master classes sa ilalim ng mga tanyag na classical guitarists ng ating henerasyon tulad nila Judy Kale, Peroy at Jeremy Jove ng Pransya, Marcin Dilla ng Poland at Shin Ichi Fukuda ng Japan. Kabilang sa kanyang mga natanggap na parangal ay ang unang gantimpala sa Jakarta ASEAN Guitar Festival noong 2015 at ang unang gantimpala din sa National Music Competitions for Young Artists Guitar Senior Category noong 2016. Isang mainit na pagbati ang hatid ng art to art sa classical guitarist, composer at arranger na si Aaron Aguila. Magandang hapon, Aaron, and welcome to Art to Art. Or is it Aaron? In whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw na mga, wakil mahiya. Correct mo na ako. Aaron na Aaron. Aaron, okay. So, Aaron, Aaron Aguila, welcome to the show. Thank you po for inviting me. Talaga naman, to, tama ang sinabi sa intro kanina. Napakabata mo talaga. Oh. <laughs> Ilang taong ka na ba talaga? Looking young lang po. I'm, Looking... I'm 26. You're 26? 26 okay, yes. that's very young. Um, <laughs> Pero gaano ka, ka katanda nung una kang humawak ng gitara? I started po nine yet. Nine, nine years old. So nine years old ka pa lang? Opo. And then yung... Alam mo ng gitara ang iyong instrumento? Uh, Nag-decide po ako nung high school. Mm -hmm. And then simula nine uh, for uh, lessons. And then parang hobby lang. And mm -hmm. then I realized ito yung gusto ko pa lang gawin. Mm -hmm. Even up to college, I was still contemplating if ito na bala talaga yung track na gusto uh -oh. kong puntahan. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. And it was always the guitar? You didn't start with, say, piano, for example? Kasi ako, for example, mm -hmm. ang, ang nagumpisa ako sa piano lessons okay. at saka ballet lessons mm -hmm. and ballet one. <laughs> um, what about you? I started with guitar po talaga. Mm -hmm. But during, of course, ng high school days, you try to play with uh, different kind of instruments, drums. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then college, we were required to do piano also as minor. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Okay. But I started with guitar. Uh -huh. And the, the formal lesson started at nine, yes? Uh, I, st I think 11. 11, 11 years, years old. old yes. Formal lessons Opo, sa formal guitar. Lessons. I see. Okay. Yes. Um, 
So, maaga ka pa lang talaga nag, nag-decide ka na na it's music for you? Yes, boy. Actually, uh, I'm just doing it for fun, but I realized, actually, now you're uh, uh, asking me po, oh nga, no, I really decided back then pa. Mm-hmm. I just didn't think about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, hindi ka parang winarningan ng mga magulang mo na mm-hmm. tutugtog ka ng gitara, <laughs> yeah. anak. Baka mamaya, eh, uh, hindi mo mapakain ng iyong mga magiging yes. anak. Yung uh, problema. <laughs> yes. Uh, ganun ba yon before Yeah po, before college, pero they were really, ano, parang careful about it. Mm-hmm. Parang tinatanong nila ako, are you sure yan na ba yung gusto mo talagang gawin? Mm-hmm. And I said yes. Mm-hmm. Then, and enroll ulit nila ako sa theory lessons, mm-hmm. uh, solfeggio lessons, and UP. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you took up UP College of Music? Yes po, mm-hmm. yes. And specializing in and classical, classical guitar. guitar. I mm-hmm. see. Okay. Um, so, did you ever feel na you missed out on your childhood dahil practice ka ng practice habang bata Uy. ka pa lang? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> oh, you yes. do? Okay. Yes. It's like hindi ako normal na bata. <laughs> uh-huh. Hindi ka normal. Okay. It's like if you, uh, feeling when uh, your friends mo go out and then mm-hmm. you go home practice. It's not because you're forced to do it. Mm-hmm. But and I enjoy mo lang yung time with your instrument, mm-hmm. and especially during college. Mm-hmm. I don't really go out mm-hmm. after school practice, mm-hmm. pag vacant practice, pag uwi ng bahay practice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Same Uh-oh. thing every day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pero hindi ba um, araw-araw talaga dapat uh, magka-clock ka ng hours of practice para ma- para maging mahusay? Halimbawa, mm-hmm. um, for ballet dancers, mm-hmm. kailangan at least um, one to two hours of class every mm-hmm. day para lang mag-maintain. Yes, para gumaling, maintain, kailangan maintain. mas madami pang oras yes. no? na kailangan gugulin sa rehearsal mm-hmm. at saka sa performance. I totally agree with hard work. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, uh, you should be careful about, I don't know, you, uh, the, about the quality of your rehearsal. Mm-hmm. Kasi paminsan may days na I forced uh, na to practice the whole day. Mm-hmm. But at the end of, parang pagkatapos ng, ng day, pagod lang ako. I didn't mm-hmm. learn anything. Mm-hmm. So, I just exhausted myself and mm-hmm. stuff. So, I learned, nung patapos na ako mag-college, no, dapat mas efficient yung practice mo. Kahit, let's say, for the day, I do, for, for me, mahab, like, three hours, pero intense, like, focus, no phones, everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, I gained something. Mm-hmm. So, probably po, small, uh, small goals. Mm-hmm. Especially kung maraming distractions. I think, mm-hmm. for me, nag-work yung ganun, smaller goals, but mm-hmm. frequent. Okay. But before, I used to practice kahit madaling mm-hmm. araw. Pero now, I think, na, hahanap ko yung uh, paano mag-work sa akin na practice routine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what is it about the guitar that made you choose that as your instrument? Um, classical, yung especially the classical guitar, hindi siya it's a loud instrument. Eh. Unlike, mm-hmm. for example, a piano or violin, it's rewarding the moment you start playing it. Mm-hmm. So it's really, for me, I can describe it as someone is trying to explain you something, but mm-hmm. explain it with a and uh, parang wini whisper niya sa yun, clearly mm-hmm. parang ganun yung dating ng guitar sa akin na mm-hmm. nag na in love na ako. kasi I, I played steel guitars and I tried electric guitars also pero iba yung dating sa akin ng classical guitar parang I see. Uh-huh. dito sa Tagos eh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's... And uh, ang guitarist ba ay nagpe-prepare din the same way for say a performance or competition or meron bang ibang klasing preparasyon? Uh, I think it's the same ano po, same preparation as the other instrumentalist or artist yet they have to uh, of course yung malaking factor sa preparation like years or months before mm-hmm. and then uh, the mental conditioning also mm-hmm. and stuff like uh, actually i i pag may competition i try to ano uh, to talk with other uh, artists mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. kasi iba rin yung may iba silang perspective that you don't see as a guitarist so, mm-hmm. so parang i pick i pick up from different artists also mm-hmm. and then try to apply it if if it works for me mm-hmm. okay um uh, so um Sino-sino naman ang itinuturing mong mga mentors mm. or teachers na talagang mm. um, you owe them, you know, your career basically and the skills that you have today? Uh, so, uh, I started po kasi I was, uh, my dad plays guitar also. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, your first teacher was your dad? 
Yes, he taught me chords. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was a okay. folk, he's a folk singer before, mm -hmm. but he's a dentist now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> he made the right decision. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> We're just kidding. Um, so, yeah, po una chords and so my dad and then in enroll ako sa UP. I had my teachers there, but pinaka nagka impact sa akin is mm -hmm. uh, Barney Fohas. He's now in Arizona mm -hmm. uh, doing his uh, PhD mm -hmm. in guitar. Mm -hmm. I think she, ano eh, sub inspirational siya na teacher. So I think kundi siya yung naging teacher ko, baka hindi ako nagtuloy ng college mm -hmm. ng guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then when I got to college, nag-graduate nag ako kay Lester Demetilio. Mm -hmm. So I learned a lot from him also. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, yung way of teaching uh, is really, is in, tawag nila pupuktukin ka talaga na. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then after college, uh, there's this German classical guitarist that, that, that was based here before, mm -hmm. si Karsten Link. Mm -hmm. And oh, I think with the way I play now and my mindset, I got it from him. Mm -hmm. it's, he really opened my, my mind mm -hmm. about uh, ideas and stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. and, okay. and aside from that, from uh, the competitions and festivals that I, mm -hmm. that I joined, also, mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. some master classes, and then dun nag widen yung pananaw ko sa okay. guitar. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. with your experience sa competition, mm -hmm. sa festivals, and the, you know, playing uh, sa yung mga concerts, mm -hmm. um, masasabi mo bang there's a big interest in classical guitar um, among, especially among your fellow mm -hmm. millennials? Uh, Sa ngayon po, compared to, of course, to the pop culture, of mm -hmm. course, it's what is classical guitar. But mm -hmm. I think the state now of mm -hmm. classical guitar is uh, getting better mm -hmm. than before. Because classical guitar, that it sounds, ano lang siyang, nakatugtug lang yan, uh, yung nag-aral sa conservatory or college of music. And now, probably, the, with the help of uh, social media, mm -hmm. internet, YouTube, mm -hmm. everything, mas madali na spread yung classical guitar eh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uh, i think yes um sa sa aming sa generation namin mas uh -oh. aware kami about classical guitar okay and lalo na yung younger yung the younger generations pa mm -hmm, kasi mm -hmm. nakita na nila na mas marami na agad silang options kami na, na naranasan pa namin yung sa, about sa pieces mm -hmm. that you can't you can't find the pieces online eh mm -hmm. parang Para natin, ano pa, uh, aralin ko muna yung piece bago, before you copy it, mm -hmm, uh, ganun bagay. Mm -hmm. So ngayon, yeah, with the help of actually the uh, technology, mm -hmm. nakatulong okay. sa classical guitar. Okay, okay classical guitar, guitar tayo ng classical guitar. Mm -hmm. Ilan bang, ilan ba ang gitara? Um, <laughs> are, what kinds of guitar? Um, you have the classical guitar, yes. you have uh, acoustic, you, yes. you, you mentioned the electric guitar? Yes. Uh, uh, then you mentioned uh, the steel guitar. Trying the steel guitar. Yeah, opo. Tawag nila dun acoustic guitar. Ganun. Acoustic guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yun ang tawag dun. Yeah. Okay. That's what they call it. Um, ano pa? Meron, Meron pa din ba? 10 string guitar. 10 string string guitar. Uh, uh, sorry, 12 string guitar. And may 12, 12 string guitar. And may 10. And 10 string yes. guitar. Okay. Hindi ko alam. Ang dami pa lang iba't ibang klase ng yes. guitar. Okay. <laughs> yes, they are different. <laughs> okay, ma, dito mga nakaraang ba naging abalak sa iba't ibang shows na ginanap uh, sa mga di pangkaraniwang venues, correct? Uh, kasama dito yung pagtugtog sa isang museum at uh, pagtugtog sa isang bar barberia. barberia. <laughs> um, okay, um, is there a strategy behind this? <laughs> strategy? <laughs> um, sa isang museum po, we had, I think we... Then naman, we tied up with that museum and then mm -hmm. we do concerts mm -hmm. there for the year. Mm -hmm. And then yung sa Barberia, it was a gimmick actually. Mm -hmm. It was our friend who, who owns it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, actually recently opened lang. Sabi niya, wait, and he's a fan of classical guitar. Mm -hmm. He's really a fan of it. And then, sabi niya, wala pang gumagawa ng Facebook Live na sa Barberia, no? Gawin nga natin. Uh -huh. And then <laughs> okay. it started as a joke, kasi seryoso ka, Barberia. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, and and I think pasok yung class yung guitar kasi the theme niya ano um ilo, parang mga Filipino themed yung uh, barber shop niya. Mm -hmm. So ang theme niya parang puro wood and stuff. Mm -hmm. So parang bagay yung guitar mm -hmm. music there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. ayun, we tried it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully Kumusta naman? 
Oh, we got good ano, uh -huh. uh, feedbacks naman. Uh -oh. Pero we of course we need to improve it uh -huh. in terms of the production and everything. But mm -hmm. we 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 just tried it mm -hmm. and then we're planning again another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you mm -hmm. play solo or as part of a group? Uh, now I play solo po, but during college I was part of the UP guitar orchestra. Mm -hmm. And then uh -oh. competition solo. Uh -huh. Yes okay. po. And uh, you you mentioned the use of technology mm -hmm. and uh, so, uh, abala ka sa paggawa ng performance videos that you post on social media? Uh, uh, yes po. Uh, dati, ano pa kami, ayaw namin. Uh -huh. Kasi it's like, uh, sabi nila, showbiz, showbiz, uh -huh. showbiz, showbiz. Uh -huh. Pero it's your, actually, it's your tool. It's the tool. Uh -oh. It's your uh -oh. tool to spread your art. Okay, ma-follow ka nga. Yeah. Ano may Instagram mo? <laughs> Naka, puro asa yung laman ng Instagram ko. <laughs> so, just Aaron Aguila lang. Okay, uh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Aguila. Aguila. <laughs> um, and and uh, so you, you what what performance videos do you post sa iyong Instagram? Is it Instagram, Facebook? Yeah, I, I do Instagram videos and uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I... Puro rehearsal practice lang, mm -hmm. like putting a camera there and mm -hmm. showing you what you practice. Mm -hmm. But now it's uh, I'm doing ano na po eh, I'm planning to we're actually planning to produce some uh, quality good videos. Mm -hmm. The we're focusing on our compositions. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, because um, and uh, may sa po video na nashoot ng friend ko si Marga mm -hmm. and it's Marga from. Uh, uh, triple threat. Triple threat. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, before, she, before he went, she went to France. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a project with her. Mm -hmm. So, ginawa niya kami ng video about mm -hmm. this is happening. So, inyo pinos ko sa Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my composition din po. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Nabanggit nga na you are a composer. Um, na nakailang compositions ka na? Uh, just a few po. Actually, nahiya nga ako na tinatawag akong ano. Composer. Composer kasi. <laughs> I Nakita not, ko nga sa yeah. mukha mo eh, sabi niya, <laughs> yung reaction. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, but yes, I, I'm actually flattered. Kasi po, basically, my compositions were just, uh, parang outburst, ano, what, how do you call this? Mm -hmm. Parang, um, yun lang naging outlet ko. Mm -hmm. When I was, when you were going through something, mm -hmm. and then, yun yung mm -hmm. lalabas lang siya bila. I don't really think about it as a, I want to compose. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to develop that as, mm -hmm. a, as an artist also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But as of now, yeah. Mm -hmm. I did probably six and like two arrangements. Six, six mm -hmm. originals. And then mm -hmm. it was compiled actually. Po. Iba a few years ago. Pa, mm -hmm. nagawa. And then, na, sabi ng friends ko, oh, may, may isang set na pala. Pwede na. Mm -hmm. So, try mm -hmm. na natin yung record. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And do you find that you have regular work? Ah, yes po. Yes? yes Uh-huh. Uh, now po, I, I teach mm -hmm. uh, full-time at a private music studio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, um... And I at the same time, you also have um, uh, many, Perform. like, performances, yes, concerts. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang sa barberia, ha? Opo, opo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and all of this is as a solo artist? As a solo. Uh -huh. Mostly solo, but now we're trying to uh, do a duet uh, with Aiki. Mm -hmm. She's from Triple Threat also. I see. And okay. then recently in that museum, we, we played the duo, a duet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we got mm -hmm. good feedbacks, yeah. I think. Uh -huh. And then we're planning to uh, do more. Yes. So, oh, dalawang beses nga namin naging guest dito sa Art to Art ang yeah. Triple Threat before. Yeah. Okay. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang classical guitarist na si Aaron, sorry, Aaron Aguila. <laughs> Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar sa Sining Biswal, iniahandog ng Cultural Center of the Philippines at ng Canvas ang exhibit na pinamagatang The Weight 
of the Words, an alphabet of human rights, na makikita mula November 24 hanggang January 21, Pasilio Guillermo Tolentino at Pasilio Victorio Edades Galleries ng CCP. Tampok ang mga obra ng mga artists at designers kabilang sina Keith Dador, John Ed De Vera, June Digan, Electro Lychee, Lala Gallardo, Guerrilla, Minir Marcelo, Joe Masolabe, Dan Matutina, Kevin Roque, Palma Tayona at Wesley Valenzuela. For more information, contact CCP Visual Arts and Museum Division, 832-1125, local 1504, 832-3702 or mobile number 917 3809 o mag-email ccp.exhibits at gmail.com or visit culturalcenter.gov.ph Sa musika, sisimulan ng radio station DZUP ang pagdiriwang na kanilang 60th anniversary sa pamamagitan ng Session Avenue. Isang gabi ng musika at tula na itatanghal sa December 1, alas 7 ng gabi UP Carillon Plaza, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Kabilang sa magtatanghal sina JM Espiritu, Tristan Ortega, Camara, Rod Marmol, Muni Muni, Sofia Paderes, at Never the Strangers. Sina I.A. De La Cruz at Mark Casillian ang magsisilbing hosts. Libre ang naturang palabas. Magtatanghal naman ng Vienna-based tenor na si Abdul Kandao ng isang one-night concert December 3 alas 6 ng gabi sa Ayala Museum, Makati City. Kabilang sa aawitin niya ang Andie Ferne Gelipte or To My Distant Beloved ni Beethoven. Si Najib Ismail ang kanyang accompanying artist para Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticket World 891-9999 o sa Cultural Arts Events Organizer 782-7164. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang 2016 Namsha Grand Winner sa Guitar Senior Category na si Aaron Aguila. Aaron, um, nabanggit mo kanina na um, you've joined many competitions. In fact, you were the Grand Winner sa Guitar Senior Category in Nam Namsha in 2016. Um, Gano ba kahalaga para sa isang young musician ang pumasok sa mga competitions? Uh, for me, competitions po is... Uh a tool to basically develop your skill. Mm -hmm. And then, the competition is really tough because I think more than the rehearsals and, and everything, the most tough is your mental preparation. Mm -hmm. So what if you don't win? Mm -hmm. It can make you stop doing your craft. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that also, that's also a test for you to question if you really want something, mm -hmm. uh, really, really want what you do mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and yes. mm -hmm. uh, yeah I, I think it's a but I think before you join a competition you should uh, uh, get an advisor or at least prepare yourself mm -hmm. what are the outcomes mm -hmm. of it yeah that's true maraming mga ballet competitions and I always say it's not really what you what the results of the ballet competition that yes. matter most, yes, but the way exactly. you prepare for the competition, yes. what mm -hmm. you learn while you're preparing for the competition, True. and what you do after the competition. Okay. Yes. <laughs> anyway, in your case, uh, nung sumali ka sa Namsha, for example, did you fund yourself or, uh, I mean, did you get sponsorship or, or any kind of assistance from, um, from your school or from your government? Uh, when I joined the competition, mm -hmm. it was for Nam for for Namsia. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. uh, I paid for the application fees mm -hmm. and. But stuff what about for the competitions abroad? Abroad, oh, there are some, but most of them I I asked for uh, uh, assistance. Mm -hmm. There are individuals that are really generous and. Uh, really kind mm -hmm. that they really support classical guitar mm -hmm. so mga private donors over private donors i see uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. e, um meron ka bang mga sariling recordings now yes i currently i'm doing po uh, mm -hmm. a an album oh yes. okay I so abangan natin yan uh-huh so any recording. any uh, uh, ap approximate date of release of the album uh december 2 Okay. Yun po. It was a December, that's December two. two. That's a December two. Ah, yeah. and may show kasi December two, oh, right? Po. And that's the show. <laughs> and that, okay, that's the show. <laughs> and okay. that's the show. <laughs> so December two, where, when? 
Uh, it's what in, time? Uh, it's 7 p.m. December 2, Saturday. Uh -huh. Saturday in uh, One Rockwell, uh -huh. West Tower. There's a function room there. Uh -huh. So I'm going to hold it. So it's really uh, like an intimate venue. Lang. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want it to be that, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of mood. Okay. And yeah. what's the title of the album? Uh, Crossroads. Crossroads. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And of course, um, Aaron, hawak-hawak uh, mo na nga yung gitara mo. Um, because ready ka nang uh, paunlakan kami ng dalawang uh, yes, piyesa. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us first what are the names and titles, the composers of the pieces that you're going to play for us today? Mm -hmm. for, so I'll be playing uh, a medley po. Mm -hmm. But... Um, those are my compositions, so pagtsakaan niya na. <laughs> ah, so ito ay medley yeah. ng iyong mga compositions, yes, so personal comp yes. compositions. Wow, okay. So the first Excited one is uh, mm -hmm. Bagong Umaga. Uh -huh. And then sundan siya ng Kamusta Mahal. Kamusta Mahal. Yes. Okay, sige. Ladies and gentlemen, mga kaibigan, performing live on Art to Art, <clears throat> ang premiadong classical guitarist na si Aaron... Águila.
Bravo! Aaron, maraming maraming salamat sa pagdalaw mo dito sa amin, bisita sa Art to Art, and of course, sa iyong uh, napaka, napakagandang awitin na, na uh, tinugtog mo sa amin ngayong hapon. Maraming maraming salamat din po sa pag-imbita as an umbili. Honor. Thank you so much. At syempre, lalo, lalo sanong yumabong ang iyong musical career. And sana marami pang mga kabataan, tulad mo, ang uh, pumasok sa larangan ng singing. Maraming salamat. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino. Thank you.